What's going on guys? My name is Rafael Zamora of RZ Fitness TV, um, a YouTube channel of which I have about four, 500 plus videos and I've used both of these softwares and today we're going to talk about them. So first things first, the price, Adobe, 20 bucks a month if you commit to a year, so about 240 per year or 30 a month ongoing. Pretty affordable, nothing to uh, really complain about. I think it's fair, but Final Cut Pro on um, the one end is 300 bucks up front and that's gonna last you forever and I think that it's pretty comparable so I'm gonna give neither um, of the softwares an advantage unless you really plan on keeping one forever then Final Cut might be your best bet but where the big differences are for me is importing data clips so as you see here the untitled uh, chip at the top is the SD card and importing about two days worth of files 15 gigs takes about 10 minutes. Uh, here I have it in like 20 times speed, but that's how I import it to use it in Premiere Pro. So Final Cut gets the edge on this. As you can see here, AVCHD has, is the import of all the files. We open up Premiere Pro and search for your files after you make a bin to drag them in. So this is the project we're gonna be using, Final or Adobe versus Final Cut, and let's look for those clips. We're gonna import on the Mac here. I'm not sure how you do it on PC. On the Mac, we'll search stream, which is the title that it gets imported into, and easily it pops up in the spotlight. That's about two days of workout and some eating, uh, two days worth of clips. So today and yesterday, these were uh, clips from just two days of uh, vlogging, as you, I guess you could say. And we go ahead and import them. It takes just a minute, nothing to complain about there, and there are all your files. So you create a timeline, a sequence, title it however you want. Uh, Adobe does have a lot of settings here for you to choose and be specific on what type of uh, settings you wanna use. But you'll notice that when you drag in your clips, um, whatever setting your camera is on, it kind of auto detects. So you'll see that in a second. Drag and drop any clip. And I always just click change settings so that it is more of a seamless integration. And if you're gonna use multiple devices, that may be an issue, so not something I do. Here we go into Final Cut. Regardless of what we had done before importing the data, it is irrelevant here. We are gonna start a brand new project, Adobe versus Final Cut, and just pretend we just inserted the chip. Go ahead and start a new timeline project right here, and you're gonna click outside of the timeline, go ahead and import the files, and you'll see here, Soon as you open, you load up all the untitled files from the untitled chip, and you can automatically drag and drop whichever ones you want to import. I find this to be a huge advantage, as you can just drag and drop. You don't have to import gigs and gigs of files if you just want to you know, pull something in, or if you haven't deleted data, or whatnot. It's just much more convenient. I'm sure there's probably a way to do this in Adobe, but just the way it's so seamless and so user-friendly, I give a huge advantage to Final Cut here. If you're gonna be on a Mac, um, Final Cut is the way to go. If you're gonna be importing lots of data, taking days of footage and just trying to sort through lots of things. And of course, you can see every clip here versus Adobe where you have to click each clip and it'll give you a little preview on the left, which you saw before. Next, we're gonna talk about the user interface, just basic overall use as a vlogger and video creator. Um, I don't do any cinematics, I don't do any um, professional editing, I guess you would call it. I just like to make cool videos with basic integration of clips, audio, music, and as you can see, the uh, video files here, all you have to do is open the spotlight, search a song you want, say it's um, whatever, some hip hop instrumental, you just type that and you drag and drop as if you're just dragging any file. So it'll pop up in the audio, no difference from dragging clips in. So what you're seeing here is just selecting media in Adobe, you can actually use the markers to select how long of the clip you want. Whereas in Final Cut, it's a little less um, precise. You kind of just watch the clip and you can highlight where you want to bring it in. And Adobe is a little bit more almost like analog feeling. It's more black and white. This is kind of trying to do a little bit too much at once in Final Cut. So if precision is really important to you, Adobe does feel a little bit more precise, but you can do realistically the same exact fills and uh, you know video lay layers that you can in Adobe. Just Adobe's a little sharper. Same with the volume. For some reason using here, you gotta select linear or S-curve and it's 
really just kind of trying to blend, like I said. But in Adobe, it's up or down, left or right, black or white, and you can see here in the little key markers that are adjusting the video and the audio that it just looks a little bit more precise and uh, yeah. Effects, basic, you click where you want. We use cross dissolve in both, you drag and drop, it'll cross dissolve your media. Same, um, so again, user friendliness, it's a little simpler in Final Cut, but it's a little more precise in Adobe. Uh, both are really great to use. They both have hotkeys for cutting, breaking, uh, speed of the clips. So overall, um, Adobe at first is gonna just be a little quicker to get, to get your skills sharp with, but Final Cut is gonna do the same thing. So that's really up to preference, but for me, the benefits of using Final Cut lie outside of this area. But they're both really good. And another feature is linking and unlinking audio. So say you just have some background background no, noise of like a long you know clip or some sort of scenic clip. You can unlink in both. Just detach audio and video by right clicking. And say you want to speed up your video ten times, but you just want to use a few seconds of the audio. Maybe birds chirping, cars driving by. You can do that. Speed up the video and just fade out the audio. So again, very similar uh, applications here. Perfect for daily edits. So now getting a little bit more specific, um, I do like Adobe Premiere. As you can see here, it's kind of like magnetized in Final Cut, but Adobe, you can move your clips in the timeline. Again, it feels more black and white and up and down versus uh, the Final Cut, which is trying to do something for you a little bit more automated. See how it's not letting me drag the individual clips away from the starting point. I have to manually add with uh, hitting Option W, the little black boxes, which I can put before or after. And again, tiny advantage to Adobe, but the time you lose inserting a couple black clips here and there is gained by the ability to, like I will do here, add in uh, widescreen black markers. I can highlight multiple clips and adjust it in um, Final Cut. But in Adobe, I have to actually place a crop effect and I cannot place, I can place the crop effect on multiple videos, but I cannot change the effect simultaneously for each one. So if I wanna add black markers, I have to do it in one clip and the next clip. So if you wanna make you know, several clips with one effect, um, Final Cut is gonna allow you to drag them all into one and simultaneously add that effect, at least for this application. And I assume several other ones. So like I said, Sometimes Final Cut will help you out and kind of think about what you'd like. Other times might not, but Adobe's kind of a little behind on that. So titles, huge advantage to uh, Final Cut. So if you'd like to use a lot of writing and text, Final Cut is gonna be your best friend. The title options are way better than the title options in Adobe. They're much more, um, I guess, user-friendly, but they're much more creative. So you get to already, ident or already look up um, pre-made titles, you don't have to mess with adding cinematics. It's very, very nice and you'll see right here. In Adobe, all you can really do is select text and modify them manually, but in Final Cut, you have all these beautiful effects that fade in and out and it's gonna shorten your edit time and make your edits look a lot more entertaining much, much quicker. So here I'm gonna add in a nice little uh, title and copying and pasting is even better in uh, Final Cut as well. So title advantage and uh, just an overall advantage here to Final Cut. <clears throat> Another massive advantage to Final Cut is you can see all of your previous projects kind of consolidated in a library. It's kind of like iTunes for videos. You make them, they save, they chill there in the playlist. And you can go back and reference um, all the titles that you've made. So if you like to do daily vlogs or if you like to have consistency in your videos, you don't even have to make a template uh, like you would in Adobe if you want to change it and have to make it you know, precise. You can just work on a project and reference it at any time, Bring carry over the titles with an easy copy paste. As you can see in Final Cut, all the past projects were there, but in Adobe, you're left with nothing and you have to reopen old stuff and close your new file. Something different, or a difference between Final Cut and Adobe is that Final Cut saves and renders files for you, but easy solution is to right click your project, go to render files and just delete. That is gonna be a massive key to clearing hard drive space. Uh, Final Cut, Cut likes to keep things in your history, but what I just showed you there is going to 
allow you to delete rendered files and make it as if there's the MP4 bot video after you edit or render and make the video and you just have whatever clips you have left over, which you can delete all of them if you'd like. And you can even save your titles for a while. So it's not gonna take up space if you know what you're doing. Adobe, like I said, a little bit more black and white. You're either gonna delete your project or not. It's not gonna save render files. It might auto save if you have that feature, but nothing to worry about. It's pretty simple here. Just know what you're doing with Final Cut and don't let those render files add up. Another big advantage to Final Cut is the export time. I've exported several videos in both and the quality is um, indistinguishable for the settings I have. Uh, you can't really tell here because the files are like a quarter of a gigabyte or less, but with a two gigabyte file, 12 minute video, takes Adobe Premiere anywhere from 20 to 35 minutes, depending on how much sped up footage I have and the size of the file. Easily 20 to 25 minutes, and with the same processor, the same computer, I can do it in Final Cut in about two to three minutes. So again, daily vlogs, daily uploads. If you if your time is really important to you, this might be your only computer that you're running software on. Final Cut is gonna be faster, easier, and it's just gonna save you a ton of time with making and uh, storing files. Big advantage to Final Cut there. And another crucial, crucial uh, feature is battery life. Final Cut, my battery is about five years old on this computer and it's, I guess you would call damage, it's really not working properly. And it'll, from a full charge, last about 25 minutes with Premiere and then shut off at like 30% battery. With Final Cut, it will take about an hour, maybe more to get to 30% and it's much more, uh, linear and progressive with its uh, battery life, even with a damaged battery. So huge advantage to that. And you don't have to save any files in Final Cut. As you can see here in Adobe, I just saved. Now I'm gonna search in the spotlight and open it up. But in a Final Cut, when you're done working, you quit and it's always, always gonna be there. So here I'm reopening a save file. In Final Cut, you don't save. It's just pretty much running as its own feels like its own solid state hard drive, so huge advantage, way more user friendly, and I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Peace.